Well, 7.40 on a Wednesday morning, we have our good friends Brian and Sonia in the studio. Brad and Sonia with Brian Insurance. Oh, man, I, I've never done that before. That was the first time. I'm sorry. Did you just call me Brian? I called you Brian from Brian. Brad Insurance. <laughs> Brian. Brad Brian. Oh, that was last week that we talked about Bond. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because that's right. Yeah. Good morning, guys. How are you? We're good. You did some bowling last night? Oh, absolutely. That was a fun little tournament. How'd you do? Well, Charlotte did excellent. <laughs> Charlotte did excellent. So the name of our team was On a Mission for Commission. Brilliant. <laughs> it was, uh, Love that. There were six of y'all, right? Yeah, there were six of us on the team, but it was okay. a uh, battle of the businesses in Weatherford. Oh, cool. So it was a, all the local businesses came together, and each one of them had their teams and all that, and they competed for trophies and, I guess... For yeah. advertisement? For advertisement, <laughs> right, right, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's awesome that you guys, I, I tell you, I, your involvement in the community that you're invested in is uh, second to none. So not only are you invested in Graham and Young County, you have your new location in Weatherford, and you guys are diving into the Parker County and uh, just doing an excellent job down there. So I commend you for that. And, of course, you get to have fun while you do that. Oh, oh yeah. of course. <laughs> How is the new the new office going down there? Great. Everything awesome? We are. Had a ribbon cutting two weeks ago. Yes, that was very nice. It was, it was fun, it yeah. turned a huge turnout for that. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. I know that that's a, a, a big venture for you guys down there. Um, and Weatherford's just a great place to be involved in, so. Yeah. It's good. We're enjoying it. Of course, we have two employees that live in that community and work okay. there full time. And then several of us go over all the time. And, you know, you just never know who you're going to find here yeah. or there, over there, anywhere. Uh, it's an easy, easy little commute down yeah, there too. It is. Well, what are we talking about today? Well, too much of one thing in the wrong place. That's what we're talking about today. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about pollution. Ah. And, um, as in regards to insurance. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> the, the first question is, what is pollution? Pollution is definitely too much of anything in the wrong place. That is the simplest. That's the definition. Yep. That is the definition. That's the simplest definition you can. I can talk about how you know you have thermal irritants, you know gaseous releases, liquids, uh, solid waste, stuff like that. But just the basic definition is anything that's too much in the wrong place is it. One of the most mm. famous claims that I remember was a semi truck driving down like a mountain pass, it turned over, was carrying eggs, okay. simple eggs. So those eggs spilled out. Yeah. That was a pollution claim because someone had to come over there and pick up all those eggs because there's too many of them in the wrong place. Ah. So they had to bring in semi, you know, other trucks, dump trucks, uh, excavators, and clean up that mountain pass. When the, when the truck tipped, tipped over, did the eggs all scramble? <laughs> uh, of course they did. <laughs> they were over uneasy. But, oh, um, oh man, y'all yeah. are punny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But, uh, so your, t your typical business auto policy if you have an accident and the uh, gas, diesel, oil that is being used to make your vehicle run mm -hmm. is spills, that's typically covered under a business auto policy. Mm. It's, that's a pollutant. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're hauling something, whether it be what you think of from a pollution claim, which is gas, diesel, oil, right. or Har eggs, almost like harmful yeah, yeah, or yeah, eggs. If you're if you're hauling those things, uh, then you need a separate pollution policy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't know that because a lot of people just start hauling their stuff. But if they yeah. have an accident, they turn over, something happens, and there needs to be a cleanup, yeah. that is on you. Yeah. <laughs> is this uh, for like hot shot drivers? Anybody. Anybody. Anyone. Any, any business that's hauling anything that yeah. could be ca cause pollution. And that's the vehicle part of it. Then there's also the general liability. General liability of we always think of oil lease operators. We ride a lot of those. So you have your you know, tank batteries out there, and you have your dikes around them and everything else. Yeah. But those are what we typically see. But there are a lot of other issues yeah. that can be considered pollutants. One of the major ones I remember back what in the early 2000s, it was the releasing of natural gas into the environment. Mm -hmm. And they are one of our operators got sued for that because they claimed that it was a pollutant from a party uh, down the road. Oh. <laughs> so we don't want to make everybody's eyes roll back and you don't have a nap at 745, <laughs> but uh, if you are an oil lease operator or, you know, I'm, I'm going to use that as an example, somebody that you think you might have a pollution claim, there's so many different types of pollution coverage and you have to be really careful. Uh, just to simplify it, 
you have what's called sudden and accidental, which means it happens suddenly and accidentally. Right. That's one type of pollution. But then you have the broad form pollution, which includes seepage and things that happen Incredible. over a period of time. And so and then those policies are called a claims made and they have a retroactive date. And just trust me, that's important. Ask your insurance agent to explain it to you because mm-hmm. y'all don't want to hear about it right now. But, um, you know, so if you, you really need to be careful uh, and make sure that you know what you're purchasing so that you'll be prepared. And especially when you're talking about that broad form, what is that retroactive date? Does my umbrella go over that? There's so many things to consider. So just because you see pollution as a line item on your invoice that you're paying for your insurance, you need to make sure you understand what kind of pollution coverage you have. Right. So <clears throat> basically, if you're hauling anything, if you feel like you have a risk that could cause a pollution claim, especially in our litigious society, call your agent. Yeah. yeah. Ask. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get much sympathy from the powers that be these days. No. <laughs> like probably they did in the 70s and 80s, the railroad commission, you know. No, they're going to come. No, after they're you. coming after you, and it's probably going to be in the news. Right. <laughs> you know. That's exactly right. Uh, maybe not if you tip over the eggs, but if you have a, you know, oil and gas or, you know. I always, I always think oil. about like, you know, driving through uh, Winthor's there and you see all those milk trucks. Yeah. Those, that's a pollutant. Yeah. Right. It's there. just thinking milk trucks. Yeah. yeah. So that, yeah. those guys, they all require pollution as well yeah and, and you know back to the the traditional has hazmat that people haul you're also required a lot of times if you're filing with the state and with the u.s dot you have to have that makes sense um, pollution coverage and proof yeah. of it and all that but but yeah it's, it's definitely not your mom's pollution policy <laughs> i don't know but it's, it's complicated but it's interesting and we would love to talk to you about it awesome well how do folks uh, get a hold of you guys if they want to ask about well, they can drive their uh, vehicle down with their, all their chemicals in the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, they can come see us on the second floor of the Sierra Bank building or call us at 940-549-2525. Or over in Hudson Oaks at 2950 St- uh, Fort Worth Highway Suite 500, 817-770-0096. Or online at brianins.com. Brian with a Y. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it very much. Mm-hmm. See you next week. All right.